Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you to my little home studio here in the heart of the UK. I've recently reached a thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel, so thank you to all of you who have subscribed to this channel. I thought it would be nice to show you a, a little tour of my studio where I make all the videos. I'm very lucky to have this space all of my own where I can sit and create. Here I have my desk positioned so that I can look out of all the windows. This is where I like to store all of my hoops and all the stationery, pencils, paintbrushes, scissors, that sort of thing. Now move to the top of the storage unit where I like to display some of my textile art. This is a little fabric book I made in memory of my grandparents. If you'd like to have a closer look at that, just let me know in the comments. And here's Mr Woody with my embroidered logo. And this little plate was something that I picked up from a charity shop. I couldn't resist. I love the pattern on it. These are my nature jars. And they have a small collection of just little things that I've collected from our garden or out on our walks. I hope to add more little finds soon. I also have a little bird ornament and a lovely quote that my daughter gave me. And the clock and the daylight lamp. On the shelf below I keep some magazines. My husband made and painted the little uh, heart with the initials. In these boxes I have a lot of the things that I've made and also the things that I've made for my Etsy shop. In here is lots of wool and a bit of knitting and crochet that we like to have a dabble in now and again. And in here are lots of tangled threads that need sorting. My other more organised threads live here too. Here I store my coloured beads and buttons. And the two jars at the back are just waiting to be used. I'm not sure what for yet. Here I have a selection of laces, trims and doilies and embellishments. Um, lots of them are vintage and um, most of them are charity shop finds. Here's some more storage containers and at the back I have all of my um, tags from the 52 Tags Challenge with the uh, Amber. In here I just keep a whole stack of cardboard um, which can come in useful sometimes for other projects. And in here is all my packaging and postal things, envelopes etc. A bit of a mess at the moment and needs sorting. In 
here some of the storage place for plastic containers, jars and tins, anything that might come in handy for storage. I don't like to throw anything away really. In this one I have lots of fabric, many of which I've purchased from local charity shops. And in here I store lots of other embellishments, buttons and beads. I find that these um, old Chinese takeaway containers come in very handy. Just give them a wash out and uh, you can use them to store all sorts of things. There's also a random sheet of Wonderweb in there too. Next we have more fabric and felt and calico in there. And these are my sketchbooks that I use for inspiration. Anything that I find, I just stick in there for inspiration for future projects. And folders with ideas for projects and uh, photo albums where I used to keep a record of all my finished projects. My sewing machine is under that cover and there's also storage for other machine sewing bits and bobs, threads etc. And this is where I store all of my fabric scraps. This lovely wicker basket, um, which I also bought from a charity shop, um, holds more lovely vintage fabrics and tablecloths and trade cloths, etc. And I've also got some keyring blanks in there that I'm experimenting with at the moment. And this is my ribbon stash. I have two baskets full. And in here, there's lots of vintage ribbons and rip rack and trims. Next to those I have all my lino printing equipment. And the box below has a selection of um, acrylic and gouache paints and I also have some canvases. supplies, and different paints, palettes etc and an old t-shirt I keep for when painting or using ink. have a selection of books, nature books, garden, inspiration books and then down here more magazines. These are all old craft magazines. More craft books.
In here I keep my laptop, wires, mouse mat and old diaries are underneath. Then we have more art and craft books, embroidery and textile art books. And an old CD, cassette player, and more textile books. Now it's onto my desk, which um, is from IKEA and it converts to a standing desk, which is very handy. These are my more organised threads. And this is a little toolbox where I keep general stitching essentials. I also keep this needle case in there. This diary is where I write down my to-do list for each day. And in the notebook I keep a record of what I do each day and also write a weekly reflection where I look back on the week and reflect on what worked well or uh, what I struggled with and um, the highs and lows of the week etc. This notebook is for all my thoughts, ideas, drafts for Instagram posts, notes on scripts for YouTube videos and any other general notes. Over in this corner of my room I have some IKEA drawer storage. On top of that at the moment I've got my little sunflower bag that I made quite a few years ago now and I currently keep a small paint palette, um, a pencil, pen and a, a small sketchbook and that's for when I go out and about. So now to the drawers. The top drawer has lots of stationery items and more art supplies. The next one has varying tools and accessories, cutting mat, ironing mat, rulers etc. This one has a tote bag with my logo on that my sister made for me. And another small sketchbook, a William Morris tote bag, papers and other bits and bobs. The next drawer has my art, where I keep all my little thread ends. A freezer paper, some templates, an art journey in the family. This one has lots of stamps and ink pads, printing inks and an easel. And finally the bottom drawer is where I keep old sketchbooks and notebooks from when I went back to college. Uh, which was 10 years ago now, I went back as a mature student. So there we are. I hope you enjoyed this little tour around my workspace. Thank you for joining me for this little tour around my studio. Take care everyone. Bye for now.